I love these early Saturday mornings because they always start off the same. I come out here, I talk to the camera, talk to you guys what I'm getting, and then we go. So that means I'm getting something, right? But I'm not getting a car. Usually uh, we're getting a car on these Saturday mornings. I'm done buying cars for right now. I'm buying an accessory for a car. Uh, something that I really don't need, but I want and I've kind of wanted and I'll get more into it once I have it. We're gonna have to discuss some things together to kind of see where I want to go with this. But it's one of those 2010 deals, so I can't pass it up. So we had to go up to Wisconsin. I gotta pick this thing up and a couple other stuff with it. And then when we come back down, I'll talk about what I got. Well, I'll show you guys what I got while we're there, but then we'll talk about the plans for it and what's gonna come further down the line. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Oh, and as a hint, it's in this garage already. So I'm gonna have another one, a second one here. So you guys could probably guess I'm being kind of obvious with it. So we got all sorts of goodies back here. I even got some additional stuff. So we're heading home now and I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Ooh, that's all I gotta see. So before we get into this and talk about that, look at all the nice stuff I got. So this was, like I said, one of those 2015 style deals. So I went there initially for the motor, the exhaust, and a RD strut brace for an E36. He sold the strut brace, didn't know that. So to make it up to me, he gave me some E46 M3 parts, which is pretty cool. So I had E46 M3, motor mount arms, I believe AC lines, an AC compressor, power steering pump and a reservoir, AC uh, condenser fan, oil cooler, secondary air pump, clutch fan, that's an S52 clutch fan, I believe that's E46 M3 heater valve, I got starter, E46 M3 hoses, um, fuel filter, that's I believe an E36 M3 stock fuel pump, trans stuff, and then I got a full E36 M3 exhaust, so cats without the shields, resonator, and a Borla muffler. So that's pretty nice right there. That's got some good value to it. E36 M3 reservoir and radiator. And then obviously I'm saying all this M3 stuff. I got an S52. So it doesn't have the beauty cover, the beauty cover's in there. But this is a full S52 B32 from an E36 M3. And the price that this was listed for with all this stuff was too good to pass up. That's the full harness right there. It's got a shark injector tuned ECU. And then it's got a nice little carbon intake plenum with supposedly an upgraded MAF. I'm not sure that doesn't really look like a three and a half MAF, so I don't really think so. But I'll look up the part number on that later. But so anyway, I couldn't pass this up because an SV2 for the price I paid for this is pretty hard to come by. Um, a gentleman never tells his his uh, secrets, so I'm not going to mention that. But just know it's a good price worthy of me not being able to turn it down. So I took the Trek and picked this thing up. And this is a... I don't think there's anything really special done to the motor. It's got the oil pump nut already done. It's got a brand new water pump. Like It looks kind of like a fancy one. It's kind of gold right there. Aluminum water pump or uh, thermostat housing. I believe that's... Uh, stock on SP2, so I don't know why I said that. It's got a lower temp thermostat in it, and that's pretty much it. Internals are stock. Uh, it was from a track car for the last couple seasons, so it's not, the mileage is, isn't super low or anything crazy, but it was a good running SP2, so I figured why not? And with all this stuff, super why not, you know? So I picked it up, and you guys may be wondering what car is it going into? And I will leave that for a second from now when I unload this. And I'll, you guys could probably guess, but let me unload this thing, get it on a stand. I broke my stand, I gotta fix that really quick. And then we will, we will pick this back up and I'll tell you guys what the plan is with it. So I don't think I mentioned it, but look at this motor. This is a Florida car that has, was in Wisconsin for about three years as a track car. So never seen the road, never seen snow. This is a clean engine. like. I don't know, my, my guys that are from the Midwest can, can attest, you don't see blocks like that around here. You see very rusty blocks. Yes, there's some rust on it, but otherwise this is like a super clean block for the Midwest. No leaks, like this was a very well maintained motor. It's had some work done to it, meaning like the oil pump nut and seals and water pump and stuff. So not like anything internal, but like it's, it's, had, um, it's had maintenance done, which is nice. So clean motor, we'd obviously be going on 50 manifold. All right, so we need to have a talk. This S52 is for this E34. 
Now, an S50 or S52 525 has kind of been a rough dream in my mind for a long time, like a long time. I think in my mind, these two cars go together perfectly because a 525 with an M50 is so, so close to an S52 and an S50, meaning an S50, because it's OBD1, will drop right into this car as long as you put the oil pan and the motor mount arms on it. Everything else is the same, everything bolts right up. This is a little bit different, and I'll get into this in probably later videos when we're working on this swap. This has to be converted to OBD1, and it's a little bit more involved, but even then, again, oil pan and motor mount arms, and it drops in. The rest is electrical sort of stuff. But very straightforward, because the M5X, S5X family are all pretty much the same block. Uh, M50, M52, S50, S52, M54, S54, they're all pretty much the same block. So they will all go right into each other, and this obviously makes a considerable amount more of power than an M50 B25. You know, you're talking 260 here, this is 189, if that. I mean, a, a pretty decent horsepower number, almost 100 difference there. But I've always kind of wanted one of these cars because I feel like this is a nice way to bump power without obviously going to turbo. I have the turbo car. It's a freaking, it's it's a whole new, another car and I've mentioned countless times, I want my non vanos M50 Calypso back before I turbo it up because it's such a good experience. And that's why I got this car. But the thing about the turbo is it, it makes the car not the same anymore. This and this car will make this car, nothing will be different about this car except for the fact that it makes more power. The drive dynamic will still be there. The reliability will still be there. But what I'm having issues coming to terms with is just taking an original car and unoriginaling it. Now, that doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, this car is getting lowered, it's getting suspension, it's getting all my touches because at the end of the day, this is going to be my perfect E34, right? Not your guys' perfect E34, but I still want to hear what you guys have to say about it. But, so in my mind, you know, who, who cares, right? I, I want to do what I want to do. It will never stay original. I think, in my mind, that is pointless. Um, it's boring, okay? I love this car, and the paint's not going to change, and the interior color's not going to change, obviously. That's the most important part of this car for me. But to keep it original as it is, who cares? It Because... Contrary to what you guys might believe, if it's not an M5, the highest, and this is not the reason I'm doing this, because I do not care about resale, because I don't plan on selling this car, but the highest selling E34s in recent times are all heavily modified, meaning unless it's the M5 Touring just recently set records, but M5 Tourings and M5s that are stock have notoriously been the most expensive E34s, obviously, because it's an M5, right? That original means something, but a 525 original, no one really cares. Um, the highest uh, bidding bring a trailer E34s have been very modified. I'm talking the M62 Calypso, S52 cars, pretty much motor swapped cars actually. Matty Matt's, shout out to Matty Matt. His um, Schnitzer wagon with a, I think that was just a 540 wagon, but he made the S62 supercharged car. That will do numbers. People don't care about these cars in stock form like they do certain other cars, but regardless of what people care about, and regardless of if it will be worth more or less money with this motor, I don't care because I don't plan to sell this car, I don't want to sell this car, so at the end of the day, who does it matter for that it's not original anymore? It matters to me and me only, right? I don't want to stock, this car would not be, I mean, it, it is, trust me, I, I have plenty of fun with these M50 non vanos cars, but a little bit of extra power in the same sort of feel, why would you not want to do that? This car is going across the country with me. When I'm in the mountains, an M50 non Vanos with an auto or even a manual is not going to be a very fun experience. It, I, I've gotten, my friends have told me, you know, they've taken their 540s, they've taken M5s. In those mountain runs, a higher elevation, those cars struggle, and those make a lot more power than this does. So, and that little bit extra power will make it so much more fun, so much more drivable through like spirited driving in the mountains and stuff. Um, It'll just make it amazing. And I have the ZF swap from the parts car that I've, I've obviously had for this. So I was gonna do an M50, not Vanos, keep the motor and ZF it, but I have a ZF. I think maybe we just go ahead and do a whole drive line. Um, there's no really reason not to. That would be a great drive line. The car would make more power. It'd be overall my car, more of my car. It'd be really a full on build, which will motivate me even more to keep this and go further with it and make it 
the perfect E34. I kind of want to hear what you guys have to say about that. I'm, I feel like my YouTube channel will give me a lot of mixed reviews. Um, at, on Instagram, people seem to mostly like do it, but I, I'm kind of interested to see what YouTube has to say. So let me know in the comments. I will read all your comments. I want to hear what people say about this, if this is like a sin or if this would be pretty cool. In my mind, it would be pretty cool and it would make this car a lot more fun and a lot more mine. And a big thing is to get this into this, is no major uh, modifications that are not reversible. Meaning, I can literally take this M50 out, steal a couple parts off it, put them on this, let that M50 sit in the shed for 20 years. I can put this, or I can put that M50 back in that E34, pull this out, and make it all original again. Yes, the car will have had a motor that's been pulled, and every nothing will go back together ex exactly the same, right? But it can go back together. Nothing has to be modified. Nothing has to be cut up. No crazy modifications. So at the end of the day. I can literally, every mod I do this car, I can just pull right off. Because I'm buying whole spindles, coils, so I don't have to weld, cut and weld my stock ones. So the stock suspension can sit, the stock motor can sit, stock wheels can sit, and this car can be trans transferred all the way back to stock. So at that rate, there's nothing really to worry about, and I just don't see why, you know, why not? So that's where you guys come in. I just want to hear, maybe I need to be set straight. I don't think so. I think it, this will be pretty fun and I think it'll make great content because S52 E34 is not all that abundant on YouTube. There's a few like forum posts. I haven't really looked, so if there is, correct me. But otherwise, you guys know how I make my videos. Um, there will be a lot to learn with this and it'll be nice to have documented for people that want to do it in the future. So if you guys are excited about this, let me know. I'm excited about this. Nothing would be happening until a month goes by and I'm done with school and stuff like that. So I look at a caveman right now, but that's just until I graduate and then we'll start really configuring things here. There's really not that much that goes into it. I need a few parts that I don't have and that's about it. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Rare of me to go out and buy a motor. I've never done this. That's why I kind of, the beginning I made a little bit, you know, mystery. But yeah, we got two S52s sitting right here. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.